If one religion had uh, more guns, more power, more uh, basic ability to, you know, overcome other religions, then that would be uh, terrifying, right? Because uh, it would presume that whether or not that religion was correct uh, wouldn't matter, right? I mean, and in times of history, we can talk about the Spanish Inquisition, or we can talk about, you know, many things that have happened over the centuries. And um, it's bad. It's not uh, a healthy thing. We human beings came up with religion. We came up with God. Man invented God, not the other way around. There is no external God. There is no power. It is only biology and evolution. And we evolved so much that our brains, unlike all other creatures, our brains have gotten so elaborate and fantastic that we invented things to explain phenomena. And God was a big one. Because if you have a single answer, a monocausal explanation, then people will gravitate to it. It's simple. Why did this happen? God made it happen. And... The bigger problem is this. If, as I started to say, one religion had more power than the others, and it began to restrict the others, then we have a real major problem on our hands, because they're all theoretical concepts of God, invented by men around the world over the last 5,000 years. None of them are proven, therefore none of them are real. And at the moment, what has happened is, for the last 300 to 400 years, one religion has very quietly and secretly oppressed all the other religions. So much so that it has convinced the world that it is functioning in a secular way for the democratic freedom of all peoples, when that's not true. It has never functioned in a secular way for the good of all peoples. The truth is, listen carefully, Christianity holds us all hostage. Christianity throughout the empire, around the world, called everyone else heathens, oppressed them, murdered them, genocided whole tribes of human beings in the name of Christ. Christianity is guilty. It is now empowered. Because what the Trump face represents is a, not only a white supremacy, but a Christian supremacy that seeks to Christianize America, make that the religion of America, not secular, as the First Amendment demands, and as the whole concept of USA, for all of us immigrants, that's what we believed, we're allowed to come here and be free, be free of oppression. Secretly and quietly, the Christians hold the world hostage, because they are at the top of every military sector, and it is getting worse. So, if one religion is holding the world hostage, what do we do when that happens? Is Christ the one holding the world hostage? Is God the one holding the world hostage? Because these Christians keep coming to me and telling me I have to become Christian. No, no, let me uh, speak to you. No, no, help. let me talk to you. Let me give you my testimony. It's constant. They've already changed my sister whether I wanted her to change or not. So my sister is a hostage. Born in India, 5,000-year-old culture. Taken away from that place. Kept from knowledge about her own people. And fed this nonsense here in the USA. And that's just one person. Trust me, it's hundreds of millions of people around the world. On this, what you call Easter Sunday, I just want to ask you to do something very Christian. Please, be like Christ. Stop holding the world hostage. Stop shoving Christianity on other people. Stop making Christianity the only way to proceed. Stop presuming that your God and your Christ is the only thing out there. It's unbelievably oppressive. You are the enemy to the world because you hold the world hostage on Easter Sunday.